So what is going on everyone? It is Kieran the Barber. We are back with another video. Um, it has been a while. It has been the longest. My channel has been flipped upside down. I'm sorry. Today we are starting a complete fresh. So I'm going to be doing a series over the next year. Um, compelling of all the barbers in my shop. Um, and to leave you no further and to apologize for not having um, any content because of the corona. Here is... A Richmond Perez is absolute best. So today's doing a low taper skin fade um, with a rounded off afro, a shape up. Um, and you've got to stay to the end. You've got to stay to the end of this video because what Richmond does is he uses... Um, Zach, what does he use? Hair enhancements and topic fibers. So he uses some hair enhancements and topic fibers to complete this look. And Oh yeah, so uh, Richmond also has a barber pencil which is really, really good as well. Um, all the links will be in the description down below where you can purchase these products. So yeah, a Richmond starts off with just blending in that taper um, and then blending in the beard with the taper. And he rounds that all off. And what I'm going to do guys for the minute is I'm going to let him do his thing and I'm going to leave you guys in peace. I just want to say thank you for the support. Thank you for coming back. Please like, comment, see who, what barber do you want to see? What haircut do you want to see? Um, I'm going to be filming over the next few weeks. We're going to try and get out three videos a week at the minute. So yeah, guys, I apologize about leaving you. I am back. There's going to be no game stuff on my YouTube. It is strictly hair based now. I apologize. I've missed you all. And here is a Richmond to say a complete apology because a Richmond is the best barber I have ever seen in my whole life. Guys, I love you. Thank you. Peace. So getting into the taper at the back guys, now I work next to Richmond, I've worked next to Richmond for the last five years and I swear to God I still cannot do a taper as good as this guy, this, guy, this kid, this animal, he's just absolutely incredible at tapers and even I've, I've edited this whole video and just watching him do this taper I still, I can't get my head around how he, how he does it, but his, his clippers, his clipper selection consists of the whole Babyliss range, the Babyliss FX, Babyliss Gold Skulls, um, but the go-to clipper for a Richmond is the Magi Clips, the Wool Magi Clips. Um, I think they're just the, the best clippers, especially for tapering and stuff like that. You can zero gap them down and they work absolutely perfect. Clipper-wise, um, uh, tremor-wise, beg your pardon, the Babyliss Skulls are unreal they are just they're just the absolute beast of a clipper they just get such sharp lines sharp edges i don't think there's a trimmer on the market currently that can actually beat the um babyliss skulls 
and yeah for, for clipper wise i'm i'm using the yeah the ergos the ergos are sick they're cordless magnetic what who are they by gamma yeah so i'm currently using the um i'll be doing when i film myself i'll be doing a um a video on them and etc etc what, what are you currently using your you your yeah so zach's zach's setup is exactly identical to a richmond's and the masters i love the masters okay yeah and he's using the masters as well they, they're a decent um the cordless masters yeah, yeah so zach's using the cordless
What's good, guys? My name is Zach. Uh, I work alongside Kuna Baba. Um, I'm going to explain a Richmond's enhancement process here, because from this point onwards, this is what really like this brings out the cut like a lot. This is really what finishes it off. And if you watch anyone like Get Beamed or Bossio or Jeezy, like a lot of the American uh, YouTubers, when it comes to the barbering game on YouTube, you'll see that they don't complete a haircut uh, on any of their videos without adding the enhancement process. Um, but yeah, so starting off, he's using here a hair enhancement produced by, this is all like Toon 45 stuff, so Chris Bossio, that's his own range. Uh, you can actually get it now on Chris and Sons, the whole line uh, of what he's, what he's using. Um, we will link everything down below in the description uh, because, it, you know, buying this stuff, it's, it's cheap as well, it's cheap. I don't think anything on here is above 20 quid, uh, each individual article, so you got you got to buy this stuff to, to really enhance your game. But he starts off, he's using the Toon 45 uh, enhancement dye. The one I think I believe he's using on Anthony there is Onyx Black, Onyx Black, um, which is the darkest one that they have. There's also a black brown, which is a tad lighter. Um, and as I was going to say, literally you you choose which colour you're using depending on the hair colour. Um, hair and skin colour both you know d differentiates. Uh, but as you can see here, he's applying it ever so lightly. You almost don't even see the colour going on. Uh, that's how you want it to be. You know, the darker you go, the more unnatural it tends to look. You can see him there, not just doing the hairline, but he fills in the sides to fill in any darker areas. Here he's come straight in, he's using the hair fibers. I don't believe they're actually the topic ones. I think that's a different brand, um, but they all do the same sort of job. And they're used to fill in lighter areas uh, of the hair. So as you can see there, he's adding it to the top of the hairline. And then he's gonna follow up and add it to the back of the taper, you know, the nape area, just to fill that in, as you can see. Uh, you notice that he changes out and he uses two different cards there. The cards don't really, you know, it doesn't really matter what you use. The cards mainly for the shape. You want to hold that shape so you can spray over, you know, so you're not overlining anything. Um, anything you do overline, you'll be able to come in with a cutthroat razor, which you'll see him do in a second. Now, this part here is actually, you don't see many people use it on YouTube. You do, like I said, Get Beamed is one of the people that uses it the most. And um, I think Richard is very inspired by his videos. He's one of the guys that you know he watches the most. But you'll see by adding this pencil here, it's, it's almost like how a girl would use makeup on her eyes to sort of outline, you know, the eyebrows. And then you'd come in and fill that in with any concealer, etc. Literally, all he's doing here is following the shape that he's made with the enhancements um, with that pencil ever so slightly. It doesn't matter how thick you make that line because he's then going to go in with the trimmers, then the razor to follow up. The trim is just to dough everything down. Um, the blunt, Richard actually said to me, the blunt of the trimmer the better because that bluntness allows you to you know proper spread the, the color out evenly you know the chalk that's on your face essentially the razor here is literally just to pull it all up close to the line um to then give that effect of you know the ashy skin crisp sharp lineup effect uh, but uh, as you can see it's ever so slight now as to where you just put it on at the at the start of his really really thick lines now with that razor it's almost not seeable but the little white hints are really what you know pull it all together especially under the light that you can see on the c cup I don't know if he's done any on the beard, I can't see because his hand's in the way. I think even with, you know, with the beard, with the C cup, the beard, the hairline, it's, it's literally a must, I think, for these videos and for the photos, especially when it comes to Instagram. And now on the topic of Instagram, everyone here will have their Instagram tagged in the comments below. Um, as well as Instagram, we also now have a TikTok page, which is called Hair Champs, where we upload the same sort of thing. Um, our own videos and then videos that are added on extra. Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. We'll be trying to upload, uh, I think it's three times a week now. Um, and as I said, new content from every barber each time. Subscribe for more hair videos. And that is it for me. Peace out.